In a culture where logic and reason have been discarded, the truth of Holy Mother Church is still very much alive. Fill your soul with the truth of the Holy Catholic faith. Get your premium account at churchmilitant.tv today and discover the truth. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. A measure that would have allowed late-term abortions in the state of New York died in the state Senate late yesterday. The controversial provision would have legalized abortions after 24 weeks when a woman's health, not only her life, was at risk. The White House has officially issued a statement of administration policy saying that Obama's advisors are encouraging him to veto the Pain-Capable Unborn Child Protection Act, or H.R. 1797, which would protect all preborn children 20 weeks and over from being aborted. On Wednesday, a committee passed the bill on a 20 to 12 vote, and the measure now heads to the full House floor, where it is expected to receive a vote today. Cardinal George refused communion to a homosexual activist during Sunday's 25th anniversary mass for the Archdiocese of Chicago's Gay and Lesbian Outreach, a group which upholds church teaching. The activist, who is the founder and executive director of the U.S. Rainbow Sash Movement, was eventually given communion by a friend who took a consecrated host but did not consume it. The sentencing of a U.K. woman who self-aborted her baby two days before her due date has been reduced. Sarah Catt ingested multiple abortion drugs that she illegally bought over the Internet to kill her baby in September of 2010. Catt told police her baby boy was a stillborn and that she buried his body. Her original sentence was for eight years, but now has been reduced to three and a half due to, quote, potential for disturbance, personal misery, and long-lasting difficulty. An Italian Catholic activist and journalist who saved Jewish lives during World War II was beatified at a ceremony on Saturday in his hometown of Carpi in northern Italy. Blessed Eduardo Forcherini was martyred after saving about 100 Jews through a rescue network he established, which gave them false papers so they could flee to Switzerland. I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's special report, where Michael talks about gay clergy in the Catholic media. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends. And may God bless you. Sick of TV and its cultural rot? Tune in to churchmilitant.tv and become a premium subscriber where you will get access to fresh shows with solid church doctrine. As a premium subscriber, you'll get hundreds of hours of programming, which includes investigative shows, catechesis, apologetics, church history lessons, and a lot more. What are you waiting for? Forget the bad television and dive into the riches of the Catholic faith for only $10 a month.